Time may be running out to make a decision on the fate of light rail in Virginia Beach. Ten years side first learned about a letter sent from the governor's office to delegate Ron Villanueva on Friday. And that letter says in part that if the city does not move forward with light rail, then money will be taken away to move forward with other projects. Ten of your side's Jason Marks is live in Norfolk now at the Newtown Station with reaction. Jason. Yeah, Tom, you know, Virginia Beach officials would really love to extend those tracks. You can see where they end here at Newtown. They would love to extend them a couple miles down the road to Town Center. Now City Council has a really important decision to make. Light rail officially ends here at the Newtown Road station in Norfolk. But extending the tracks to Virginia Beach is causing a roadblock of its own. I think it would be a benefit not only to the city but the state to get a true temperature on how people feel about this. The temperature will be taken in the form of a referendum in November. Let the Virginia Beach residents decide if they want light rail. But if that happens, the city could lose millions in state funding. I would not object to it unless it costs the city $155 million. If it costs the city $155 million, I don't think that would be very wise. Last week, Transportation Secretary Aubrey Lane sent this letter to Delegate Ron Villanueva, which says if the beach took the issue to the polls, the money could be lost. If they're not ready to go forward, which is their prerogative, I want to make that clear, then obviously the consequence is we have limited resources in the Commonwealth. We'll put that money to work elsewhere. The Transportation Board says it has $7 billion in requests for state projects and only a fraction of the money to go around. If the light rail money rolls somewhere else, Virginia Beach could reapply for funding, but there is no guarantee. A lot of us thought as long as the referendum did not interfere with the timeline of the construction of light rail, it would be permitted. But that appears not to be the case. What you're asking us to do is hold for a project that might occur, right? You're not, not going to occur, that might occur. Council has not decided yet what to do. But I'm told they're leaning towards letting the residents have the final say. I don't think we should be uh, backed into uh, you know, making a decision prematurely. And Lane told me he wants to do what's best for Virginia Beach, meaning that if city officials decide they want to make sure they have public support behind this project, they should do that. He says if then Virginia Beach decides to come back and say, yes, we want to move forward with light rail, Lane says he'll be as supportive and the state will be as supportive as it's been so far. That's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.